Mailbox Monday. Hello there. Uh, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel, whichever, whether you're new or pre-existing. Um, Mailbox Monday, if you don't know what this is, basically this is all the stuff that I got over the last week or so, and uh, i got to open it, and then in front of you. That way you guys know what's coming, know what I'm getting, and kind of know the direction of the projects. I kind of like it for that reason. Some other people don't do it, and you're just like, where the hell did they get all that stuff or whatever, or what are they using? Well, this kind of narrows that down. So let's get into it. Number one, I stopped by the local Lowe's, got some map gas. Not exactly sure how far this will get me, but I have a pretty good idea that it'll get me pretty far. This is the only thing I was missing out of my brazing stuff, so I got some gas. Now I can start brazing everything. I'm looking for a table. I thought I had a piece of steel laying around here somewhere, like a flat piece of sheet. I don't know where the hell it is. I have aluminum, but that's not magnetic, so that really doesn't help me. So, regardless, got some new brazing stuff. Next, this guy here. I don't even remember what this is, to tell you the truth. Oh. This is from oh, RC Fab Tabs. Uh, one of my favorite dealer, distributor, whatever the hell. Uh, these guys, these are bent, these are straight tabs. They go through a 3 16 rod and then have the hole for a 3 millimeter bolt in them. Super, super useful. Um, I already had some of these but couldn't find them and then realized after I bought them where I had put them and then put them in its right place. So now I have just a shitload of them. Also, Jordan has some and we are building a buggy slash he is building one for me. Um, and he has a bunch of these as well, so I should have a few more whenever he gets done with his. Maybe I'll give them to him and be nice. I'm not real sure. Next! One of the cool things I got, this was already opened in an Amazon package. One of the cool things I got is this. This is from an Amazon. This is a little oxacetylene torch tank. Super, super freaking cool. It's got this thing, which I don't know what in the hell this is supposed to be. It almost looks like a welding lead or something. I don't know what I got me what that is, but regardless, these little tanks are awesome. They are spun aluminum. They feel like that might be solid. They're really heavy. So they're aluminum. Uh, let's see. Yeah. All this stuff is brass. It has gauges. It's got the like open and closed valves and everything. These are super, super nice. They were like 12 bucks, $15, something like that on Amazon. Super, super cool. Next! I have a feeling I'm getting ready to be disappointed because this does not look big enough, which is what your mom says every time I come over, but it's fine. That's what I thought. So basically, this is supposed to be. Oh, this is gonna work. That's very small. Okay, well, A, that's that's junk. That won't work. That sucks. Um, this was supposed to be a. I thought an HPI Rubicon repop, and this thing is foobar. That's junk. I was only wanting to use the hood, and maybe the side of the fenders. I might be able to do it. It might fit on the recluse. We'll have to see here in a second. But I was literally just using this part for the recluse chassis that I have, one of them. And I was just going to pitch the rest of it. Maybe use the side for side panels, but definitely not using the whole thing. That is for sure. Um, I might use the brake lights or something off of this. Uh, maybe the hinges or something, but the rest of that's pretty janky looking. And uh, this thing sucks. Would not recommend. Amazon, China, whatever. eBay, HPI, crawler body. Sucks balls. Next! I made a really big order from Vanquish, and at some point in time in all my wheel stuff and in getting the things that you're about ready to see, I received a credit for a free pit mat, which, or bench mat, I think is what they call it. Work bench mat. I'll take it. I mean, anything VP that's free is always good with me. You know what I mean? I'm like a poet and didn't know it. This thing is sick. And it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. That's what she said. So this will be nice for just general, once it gets a little warm and rolls out flat. This is super cool. Look at that. Dang, I'm like a professional and stuff now. 
I may just like double sided tape sticky splooch this down or something. This is rad. I like that a lot. Thanks, Vanquish. They didn't sponsor me or anything. I just spent a whole shitload of money and they gave it to me for free. So that's cool. Next! I got a bunch of VP, basically just parts for my Phoenixes. Uh, so Doug and Jordan and I have kind of narrowed down what exactly is helping with the Phoenix VFD twins. Basically, from what we can gather, this is your best bet right here. These bearing plates, those are what's going to keep your gears intact and not uh, basically be coming into smooth barrels with chunks flying all around. Those will have a huge impact on how long everything stays together. <clears throat> um, along with those, I think these are a really good upgrade option. These aluminum posts, they're only 10 bucks. You lose that hump cover thing. It makes it a lot less bulky. It makes it a lot stronger. I wanted to buy the machined aluminum motor mounts, but after I had already made a few hundred dollar order, those things are $41 a piece, and I have seven other, I don't know. I have a lot. This is not enough, and I got three of the bearing plates and three of these for these something. I don't know. I got some. Anyway, one of them will probably go uh, in a couple of the transmissions I have over there that are not built. So I'll put all these upgrades in the unbuilt parts, and then as they break, or maybe as I get time, whatever, I'll pull them apart. So I will have the part numbers in the description of the video for the bearing plates and the aluminum rod posts. I, all, oh, I have Velcro. They gave me some Velcro too. Uh, I also got, let's see, how many of these did I buy? Four? Nope. What is this? Oh. I bought three of the 56 tooth spur gears from Incision. I just realized I forgot to get slipper pads, but these do replace the stock 52 tooth gears. Gear down, bolt up, or KV up, whichever. It's what I've been doing for a long time. Big motor, big gearing, gets it done. Next I got some more wheel nuts, just so I have a few spares for my Phoenixes. If you're new here, I got addicted to Phoenixes, and I have quite a few of them. And just VP trucks in general. And then last but not least, I got the incision springs. Different spring rights to play with the 80 millimeter stock Phoenix shocks that I have on quite a few trucks. Some of my Phoenixes do not have stock shocks on them. Some of them have 100 millimeter axials that are internally sprung as well, so they'll dual sprung. Some of them have drab techs. They have a lot of stuff. If uh, you're wondering about some of my trucks, they're all linked in the playlists. Everything has its own category and stuff like that. You can go watch any of those things that you want to. So, for now, that is all. Make sure to like and subscribe and all that stuff. Leave me a comment. As usual, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you later. See ya!